Hello and welcome back to my channel. So we're facing a different way. I don't know if you've ever seen this part of my living room. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have, but I don't think it's been in a video. Today's video is going to be all about sharing the updates that we're making to our living room, which is also now my studio. So if you don't know me, I'm Lizzie. I'm a surface pattern designer. So I work from this space designing patterns that go on products such as notebooks and cards and wrapping paper and tea towels and pouches and all those sorts of things. Um, and I wholesale them through various different um, lovely little boutiques and design stores and gift shops all over the country. Um, and I am also a coach. So I coach other creative business owners in growing their businesses and making more money doing what they love. So those are the different parts of my job. I'm also a stay at home mum. My son Constantin hasn't started school yet. He starts later in the year, he starts in September. Um, and so I work from home and I look after him. Um, and I have another baby on the way. <laughs> so part of the reason I'm making this video and part of the reason we're actually doing this stuff is because baby number two is coming in a couple of months and we're wanting to um, get the flat ready. So we have this lovely Art Deco home um, in North London and we love our flat, but it's not enormous. Um, we currently have it set up as a two bed. So we've got one bedroom and our son Constantin has another bedroom, which is quite small. And then we've got a, a kitchen dining room that's open plan. And then this is our living room and we've got a bathroom. Um, so this living room now is also my studio space as I explained. And it's also the kind of biggest open plan play space and it's also where we have our big sofa we've got another sofa next door but it's where we have our big sofa and dan and i would like chill out in the evenings um so it's multifunctional and we need it to be even more multifunctional so that it can um work better for me for my work and i'd like to get that sorted before the new baby comes but also have it set up so it's going to work so there's space for the baby to play or you know lie down and do tummy time and stuff so it's just we're basically in nesting mode and we're wanting to get lots of things ready before the baby comes so the big thing is we've just installed this shelving over there so it's by firm living it's called the punctual shelving um and i had it in my design store smug so i actually had a bank of two like this and then one low one the low one the low pieces are still under the sofa so you can separate them or have it as a big long bank it looked really cool when it was like two wide full height and then one low and um, that's how i had it in my design store smug um so now we have one set here we've had another set in the dining room for a while now um so i'll take you closer to have a look but we were storing it all basically under the sofa and we've decided to get it out and rejig this room so that i can keep lots of my stuff um lots of my products um on there i've got some gorgeous um lywood crates coming that are going to house lots of things but also stands nearly four now and he does have a lot of toys um he's pretty great at really using all of his toys um but we're going to bring some of the younger ones that currently are in the dining room shelves to the lower shelves here because again as i said like it's a really nice open plan space here for him to like play on the carpet so we're going to have some stuff there that's stand appropriate but also could work for baby boo we're going to get my stuff on there um, and i'm also just like hardcore decluttering going through everything so i'm going to give you a little tour of the room and tell you the things that i want to get done and then i'll just share with you the process and how we end up having this room um and getting it ready before the baby comes and basically just sprucing it up a bit so Yes, I hope you enjoy the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like kind of like organisational home decluttering, restyling type videos, um, there'll be lots more to come. So do subscribe. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I also make videos um, that are preg pregnancy updates. So um, you can have a look at the playlist for that. I'll share a card in the top for my latest one. But I mean, I am getting quite far along now <laughs> um so if you're interested in that sort of thing that's on my youtube channel too 
um, and I'm hoping that very soon I will be sharing more videos that are specific to supporting other designer makers in their creative businesses um, because I have various coaching programs and courses and I'm not I don't really share any of that stuff on YouTube so hopefully that's coming soon but thank you for watching I will give you a quick tour okay so in my view there's quite a lot to do before the baby comes and there's quite a lot of mess <laughs> This is just my tripod because of the shot that I was just getting. But this is my um, desk area. Um, and if I come back this way, you can see this side of the room as well. So we've got too many books. We need to do some more decluttering. I want to reorganise some of these shelves. Um, this chair used to be here. So now we don't have space for it. A um, couple of things to move on the sideboard. Plant died, so I need to plant a new one in there. Um, but also in um, putting these shelves up, we've kind of messed up what was hanging on this wall and we need to move this painting over as well and change some of that up. Also, I want to get um, everything out from under the sofa so you can't see the stuff underneath. Part of the reason that's looking like that is because our cot's under there for the new baby, which we'll probably build quite soon. Um, so that can come out, more stuff can come out from underneath. But this is the shelving unit. So um, it's like a, it's a kind of dusky, dirty pink color, same as the one next door. But actually because there were two banks of it, we had to purchase an extra post because next door we've got one with two posts. And then this would have been the one on the end um, when it was all connected together. Um, and they don't make this colorway anymore. So we had to get cashmere, which is this color. Um, so we just went for it. We were like, well, we've got all of these pieces of shelving. It's bonkers not to be able to use it when it's exactly what we need. So we just purchased the end in the wrong colour. <laughs> but I think it kind of looks fine. And it's um, this it's very similar colour to this artwork by Hernan Salamanca that we love. So, yeah, this is going to be like toys in the bottom. Then these two will probably be my products and storage stuff. I also store... A lot of stuff in this sideboard for my work and also in my desk but I would like to have more space we also we're really lucky we have storage um, in our basement but I'd like to bring more of that stuff up so I have better access to my products because um, when I'm wanting to pack a wholesale order you need quite high volumes of things um, so it would be great if I could have more of it up here Another reason to clear out here is because I want to make some wooden boxes, some like trays to hold more of my wrapping paper because at the moment I've got most of our wrapping paper, my wrapping paper is stored in other places, but I've got more here and it's too deep for the sideboard. So I'd like to be able to store this in a nicer way, get rid of that and have some more crates and storage for toys and stuff underneath. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, decluttering some books we've got too many books finding somewhere for this chair um tidying up this sort of stuff you know just there's some stuff to do to make it like restyling some of these shelves maybe even to make it even better than it is now also I'm not that happy with the sofa I love the sofa and we're not going to change the sofa but it's discolored really quickly and easily we've only had it a couple of years well, actually, that's not true. We've had it more than that. COVID makes the time go weird. But it's like discoloured. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to get some covers made for the seats. So I need to decide whether I want to try and match it or if I want to just do something different. Also, there are a lot of blankets and cushions piled on that sofa at the moment. There's not so many as that usually. But with the restyling, I, I might kind of simplify this because... I feel like I could, it would look nicer if it was more specific, like what cushions went where. Like I, I like these ones more, but they don't go with that picture as well. So there's gonna be a bit of like purchasing new things to make it look even prettier. Um, there's gonna be things like sending this rug to get washed at the cleaners <laughs> um, and stuff like that generally. Um, the other thing that we're thinking about doing um, because probably some of these plants will go on the top here. Um, I would like to clear some more of this space and have a baby changing area here. You know, those like heavy duty mats that you can put on top of a dressing table or a, a chest of drawers. I think we'll probably do that because um, when we had Stan, 
his bedroom, even though he slept in our room, his bedroom was all set up with a cot bed and with a changing thing table that went over the cot. And obviously we can't use that now because that's where his actual bed is. So we need like a changing station. Um, so I have mostly cleared out this bottom drawer because I will fill that with nappies and wet wipes and muslins and things like that and probably have a little crate up here for easier access ones so that this room can be also a changing area. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of an update and I will just kind of show you progress as we make it and then we'll have like, hopefully, a final reveal. But you know what I mean, like something that shows you where we got to in the end. Um, yeah, hopefully that is vaguely interesting for you. Okay, mini tiny weeny update. One is that I've put underneath now um, some of the toys that are more appropriate um, for Stan to share with the next one um, that we can get out here. So we've got a bit more space next door. And my first two crates have arrived. So these are the crates from Lywood. These are in Sandy, perhaps. They're the medium size. I've also got some coming in Peppermint, which are double the size. And then I've got three different colorways of ones that are coming that are half the size. Um, so I'm hoping that the ones that are even smaller are still useful. They're quite thick. So based on their measurements, um, I was kind of doing it from the total measurement, whereas actually, because they're thick, the inner measurement is quite a lot smaller. So we'll see when the smalls come, how useful they are and if I need to just get more mediums and larges. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Further progress has been made. So we've gotten much more crate <laughs> The original plan was to just have these two in the medium. And then as things were arriving, I could tell that I needed more mediums. Mediums are really useful. So I've actually got the medium in the pinky color and in this golden color um, and in the sandy color now. So this is now storing a lot of my product. So I've got all of my tea towels in here. I've got the different size notebooks. I've got totes and masks. I've got pouches. Um, so it's working really, really well for me. More pouches up here. Um, I've got some blankets here because we like having lots of blankets, but I don't really like having tons of them all on the sofa at the same time. Um, so I've put some here and I actually really like this um, Donna Wilson blanket and how that relates to the colors of the crates that I've chosen. Um, this guy is part of the process of going through things in the sideboard, going through the drawers and the cupboards in the sideboard. I had lots and lots of things in there that were like keepsakes of cards people had made me or letters people had written me. Um, so that's living in there. Obviously, there's more to do here with styling this. We'll probably have like a pile of books, some pretty objects. Um, and there's more um, product to come from downstairs to go in there. And the plants are all going to go up there. Um, and I have actually ordered the changing mat that's going to go here. So I will show you that when that arrives. And that's probably when I'm going to take the plants off of, off of here and like restyle how this works. Um, also, I changed up the crates underneath. Um, they're not very well um, placed for symmet symmetrical purposes. Um, but they were all different colours in the previous shot. And I've actually now made them all just the pale pink or the grey. Um, and I think that that's going to work better. It was quite colourful. And having all of these different crates too, they now relate to like the pinky one and the sandy one. And I think that that's simpler. So when this comes out of the way, I'll probably buy two or three more and just keep that a, a more muted colour palette under there. And speaking of this, um, over the next weekend um because it's probably going to take a bit of time to get someone to make something more permanent we're actually going to cut that box in half and reconstruct it so it can be two trays of wrapping paper that hopefully we can slide under the sofa is the plan so that this can look nicer and be opened up um and then the other news is that also this weekend we are visiting two different upholstery places who hopefully 
will reupholster the seats, um, the two cushions, um, the seat cushions. Um, it's a bit messy here because I've got this stuff out to depop. That's one of my other jobs is selling some stuff. Um, but I'm thinking maybe like if we can get hold of something, like could be quite cool to have like a chambray denim -y vibe. I really love these funny little um, seat cushions that we got from H&M. And I don't think I'd go like for a hickory stripe or anything, but I feel like with all of the different colours that are going on, I quite like the idea of like a chambray denim -y type colour. Um, other thing that's happening this weekend actually is this rug's going to the cleaners. So hopefully like these stains and things can come out properly and that will make a really big impact. So yeah, lots happening. And I just wanted to show you how we were doing. Good work, Danny. <laughs> The um, box has been cut in half and reconstructed and it fits underneath the sofa. And when you're standing back, it's really not very visible at all. So now all the wrap is hidden under there rather than sticking right out here. Um, it's been Stan's birthday since I last filmed and his cousins and auntie and uncle gave him this box, which is full of um, Brio um, trains and all sorts. So I think rather than getting more crates, we might actually get a box that's a similar size to go there. It's quite nice having something bigger that has a lid and can contain everything. So I'm going to see if I can find one of those to go here. As I said we would, we went to the upholsterers and I have found a fabric that I'm happy with that isn't velvet, but is a, a cotton, 100% cotton, really similar colour to the pink. So we're just going to get the... Um, two seats covered in that um i will show you a picture of it now mabel that is not allowed okay so you can see it's really similar it even has a similar texture considering it's not velvet um but it's a slightly duller pink but i'm actually okay with that because the seats are so discolored um that it's already going to look a lot pinker and also we like the vibe of having the um blankets over the top so I think this is the best way to go and we're going to see how it works out. Okay, so <laughs> random addition to the video because we're now in the bathroom. But before I put the plants up from the sideboard up on top of the new pink shelving to make space for the baby changing mat, which is about to arrive, I just wanted to show you something that I do, which is using one of these IKEA spritzing bottles, particularly with cactuses, when they get all dusty and they need a good clean, but you can't just wipe them down like you would with normal house plants. So I use these to kind of like dust and refresh and clean them. Um, so that's what I'm doing. It's quite good with like a, a money plant as well, or jade, those kinds of plants. So any succulents or cactuses, I tend to do this. So I just thought I would show you that. <laughs> I'll show you them up on the shelves in a minute. So here they are, the plants looking pretty on the top. I've styled them with a couple of jugs. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly show you what they look like up here rather than on the sideboard now. We made space on the sideboard for the baby changing things. And I'm now gonna just quickly show you how the art is at the moment because our friend David Misho is coming tomorrow to do the rehang, which is so exciting. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of what is now so that I can then show you the changes that we make. So this is a piece that we absolutely adore. I'm really lucky because my dad and brother work in contemporary art. So we get to borrow stunning artworks that are originals by sometimes relatively well-known artists. We're really, really lucky. Um, it also just means that I have grown up with really good art and bought bits myself over the years. Um, and so we are yeah we're really lucky in that so we're having this rehang i don't want to show you the stuff on the sideboard because it's changed that's why you're getting these weird shots but basically this piece we adore is daniel's like favorite thing in the house but i've always felt like it's quite small for the space and i want a change and something with a bit more color so we've got something that's going to go there but this piece is going to move and go here which is going to solve this problem that oh i don't want to show you that either <laughs> 
grand reveal coming soon. But basically, because of having these pink shelves here and moving the artwork that was there, there's now this weird gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, take down the phones and put it there and then potentially move this over and lower. Um, I've been replanting this guy, which you can see properly in another shot as well. Um, but so that there's space around this mobile, like we might put a little, a smaller piece here, but sorry about the reflections. We'll have a bit of a play to get that working. And then as I said, oh, spoilers, um, we're gonna move this over. There's a piece that we're gonna put there, which is a stunning pencil drawing of a toaster catalog, which is amazing. And then we're gonna take down the, um, artwork there which is by Trevor Appleson and that's going to go somewhere in the house because I love it but dad and I found an old boiler door in a skip in Lisbon that we had framed and we love and that's going back there so I'm just going to quickly take you into the bedroom to show you the Sarah Grio oh I keep showing you things I don't want to show you um to show you the Sarah Grio um <laughs> this is ridiculous um I'm just going to stop filming now Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you, I mean, this is on its side, so you're not really understanding what it's like, um, but this is the artwork that's gonna go over the mantelpiece. It's really, really gorgeous. It's by an artist called Sarah Grio. Um, reflections are issues and it's up on its side, but I thought I'd show you so you can at least get a sense of it and then I will show you properly tomorrow when it's in place. Okay, I'm ready to show you. We have made it this far that the changes have been made. Um, I have lots to update you on. We've had the cushions on the sofa recovered. We've got some new cushions that have been purchased that I'm really happy with. So that whole like area feels much more simplified and clean and organized and bitty. Um, my beautiful shelves are full and working so well. I've had a couple of wholesale orders since finishing it up and being able to bring things upstairs and it works so much better. And I actually reorganized everything that was in the sideboard as well that were my products in there. So all of my cards are really well organized and the wrap is now under the sofa as you saw. I've got um, the changing area ready for the baby. The baby is in terms of due date, due in like five days at the time of filming. So it feels really good to have all of that sort of stuff organized. And I'll show you on the sideboard how that's going. We've got our extra box for underneath the sideboard, which is organized things. And um, I'm really happy with how I've restyled the shelves over there. We've got some actual family photos up. So yeah, it's all feeling. Oh, and the rehang. I'm really, really excited about the rehang. Um, you can see already like that picture just being in the right place shifted over is so much better. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with it all. Really happy with it all. And I'm really excited to hopefully give birth in this room in the next few days. <laughs> That's one of the things that I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, which I hadn't really even like thought about particularly. But as well as restyling this room for how as a family, a bigger family will be moving forward and how I can work in here as well in a in a more enjoyable way. Um, I want to give birth in this room. And so having it beautiful um, and full of things that I love just feels really exciting and wonderful. So that's an additional bonus that I hadn't even really thought of to this whole nesting thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you around now. Okay, so this is the other uh, direction. That is the Sarah Grio painting that I showed you. Doesn't it look great? I feel like it just fills the space a lot better than the one that was there before. And I love the colours. Um, really, really happy with that. And um, I was actually planning on taking down this little bunting thing that I made, but actually I feel like it links to it really, really nicely. So that's staying. Um, down here, I um, reorganised all of the books and added this little plant. So I'm really happy with that. Streamlined the things that are on the hooks to things that I actually kind of need and want to use all of the time. The chairs got swapped around. So this was the chair that didn't have a home. It's now sitting there quite happily. Um, let me take you over to these shelves and have a little look because I've been reorganising. So um, 
I propagated that plant actually that was really really long and it was covering everything up so I snipped some bits off and they will um grow roots and then they'll be added to the one in the corner but I'm really pleased with the little knickknacks and things that I've added to kind of style this more intentionally um it's been our wedding anniversary that's a little photo from our wedding day um and there's just kind of more like of the bits that we love styled out and looking good and um there's another photo it's a lovely one of Stan and Dan that makes me really happy tons of lunch ladies there and this is a new cushion. As I said, I was going to purchase a few new cushions. This one I'm really, really pleased with because it's such a similar colour palette to this Donna Wilson one that I got um, when we used to sell them at Smug. But it's much more like, can you see how it's like textured and embroidered um, and has like kind of lots of little knickknacks on it like the shelves. So I feel like it sort of really links that. It's cool. It's by um, Fine Little Day, who I've always thought were awesome and really inspired me before I started designing myself. Um, and the other thing that I like about it is that it links to the boat over here. We didn't really have any other boat related things. So it feels really nice to have that connection. Um, and on here, I should just show you, I've got some nice little things to read there and I changed this photo um, to be a photo of me and Stan as I've been saying like we're just so bad at having photos of ourselves or any photos really um, but that's really cute because it has the picture that used to be up here um, which has a new location that I will show you now so I'll start panning you around to the sideboard so hi <laughs> This is the changing area of dreams. <laughs> so I'm really pleased with this changing mat from Lywood. We've got quite a lot of bits from Lywood. I kind of feel like it's it's not exactly the same, but it's almost like a kind of pattern that I might make. That's carnival up there. It's different, but similar vibes. Um, and as well as it just being nice having the area, I properly reorganized all of the drawers. So the bottom drawer's got nappies and wet wipes and all the things you might need. But also I've got a little thingy up here um, that I just grabbed from Next. Uh, not Next, um, H&M. No, try again, Zara Home. But I also bought a couple of really pretty Lywood muslins um, to cover up the top. And also just because you may well want muslins. Um, but that means that's all ready to go and we've got easy access. But it's like styled in a way that still feels very us. I go into more detail in all of that in the video I was um I will link up if it's out yet um or just keep your eyes open but I've done a video of like all of the bits that we've bought for baby number two um so yeah I feel like from before like the sideboard has been massively simplified which was needed because we need the space for changing the baby but also I think I'm quite pleased with it just read I'm ready for there to be a bit less um underneath is much better organized <laughs> I couldn't find a simple box anywhere so I ended up going to the place that that other box was from and I let Stan choose because it's a box of baby books and toys for the baby and he wanted the Gruffalo one so it's not necessarily exactly the look that I would have gone for <laughs> but it it has simplified things down there and that's working really well for us. Um, the art here is all of the set is the same but then I don't know if you remember me explaining like at the end here it was thrown off because of taking a picture down and putting these shelves up so we've now got this painting or this drawing here which I really really love um, that's the one that was above the mantelpiece and now it's here um, and there was just this little space and I was like I just want to put the pink we've had this pink hook for ages and I was like let's just put it there even though nothing can hang on it We've for a long time had this um, hay mirror up there that you can't look into, which I really like <laughs> having. Um, so now we have a hook that you can't put anything on, which also makes me happy. Um, the plant, I put a new one of the propagated bits in and that's growing really well. And as I mentioned, as the other bits grow roots, I will add those too. Um, and as I mentioned, this chair was over here and this one was in this area but 
wouldn't fit now because it's bigger than this one so that one's sitting there now and I feel like that that's really nice it's like a little nice nook um and <laughs> it's still easy to get to all of the toys behind but it sort of means you just see the pretty chair and then my crates and my work stuff and the plants rather than the toys which I'm kind of quite pro <laughs> as long as we can still get to them um and yeah it's just really really well organized here now I've got my notebooks I've got my totes I've got my tea towels I've got my pouches it's just um it makes me really really happy having access to them all in this way but also just having it look pretty um this is that box that I've got all my keepsakes these are some of my wrapping papers um and then this is just like a little area of bits and bobs that make me really happy that I love and you've seen the plants above but I feel like the color palette's like really intentional and working well for us and so I'm very happy with that it feels like I've managed to make it like an organized studio space but still just look like a nice living room uh as you could see this Hanan Salamanca looks so much better now it's got some space around it so that's in the right place now this is the toasters picture I was telling you about this is a drawing of toasters in a toaster catalogue I just love it <laughs> this is the boiler door that we got framed that I told you that we found in the skip in Lisbon so I love that too um and then in terms of the sofa so this is the new fabric we've got another set um of covers coming as well so we'll have two so we can alternate we need to wash them um as I said I still like having the blankets down but it is really really similar to the velvet um so that worked out really well um and we've simplified things in taking some cushions away but buying some new ones this is by hay i absolutely love it look at that look at the texture on that Whew, it's gorgeous so 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 pleased with that cushion and then this is a little firm living one for a bit of fun um so it's just like a neutral linen but then it's got these little people sewn on it and the um again it's a really good color palette for the room and it's got this bright like ready orange um that is on the may engel gear blanket that we love um and then yeah as you know the wrapping paper's under there but you can't really see that so that's worked really well and then in terms of my work area it's much better organised. Um, I'm really pleased about my little bits that I've got on the windowsill. So I'll quickly show you that as well. So we have got a lovely candle. We've got the hand cream that I love from Arquette. We've got the lip balm I love from Glossier. And just some like little knickknacks. I love that little sheep and the plant. I've got another candle here and a bowl. And then this is a photo of me and my mum and Stan. Um, that got taken when we were doing a shoot for M Hulo, uh, and then here are some other little bits. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about this Marrakesh Aesop perfume that I'm using as a room spray. That is like the best fragrance ever in the whole world, and that's what the room's going to smell of when I give birth. Hopefully, is the plan. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. If there's something that I've been scanning and you're like, but what's that? What's that thing? Let me know and I will obviously answer you in the comments. But yeah, I'm just really, really happy. Oh, the other thing to mention is no rug. <laughs> so we did take the rug to the dry cleaners. It died. The dry cleaners didn't think it died. Um, it wasn't really, really bad. They weren't like, oh my goodness, we're so sorry we've messed it up. But um, it just was a completely different texture and it just came back a different vibe and it wasn't right anymore and actually I just feel like the room feels bigger without it and because we're gonna have the baby like playing on the floor we've got baby blankets and rugs that we'll throw down for him to play on anyway um so I, I just feel like we don't really need one I'm happy with it without so yeah we gave it to a friend oh a bit out of breath but yes um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to say that again in a minute, I'm sure, when I sit down and talk to you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, tell me in the comments if you've got a favourite thing, if there's a favourite object or a favourite update or a thing that you think has made like the most impact, let me know. I would love to know your thoughts, but it just feels like the living room that we always wanted it to be. It feels 
playful, but like kind of grown up family room, but a great place to work and a lovely place for the kids to play. Um, so yeah, it just feels very intentional and very us. And I am delighted. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a really fun one to film. It's taken a long time because it's been just filming clips as they go and updates happen. And so it feels really nice to have gotten to the end of the process and be able to share it with you. Um, I also just wanted to say, um, near the beginning of the video, I was talking about the fact that I was hoping to make more content that was relating to like my coaching clients and helping designer makers and small business owners make more money doing what they love. And I have actually made my first ever video about it, which is three money stories that you might be telling yourself um, as a designer maker that are holding you back from making money. So I'm gonna put a link up to that in the corner. So have a look at that if you fancy it. I've also, speaking of like the home birth thing earlier, there's a home birth video now preparing for home birth. There's a video coming that goes into more detail about the things on the sideboard that I showed you and everything that we've bought for baby number two. So I'm doing quite a good job of, even though the baby's about to arrive, stacking them up so that they should still be coming out for you. But apologies if there are any gaps. Um, I feel like this is my last video that I'm probably filming before having the babies and I'm really pleased to be finishing it and getting it out. Um, so yeah, bear with me, but I'll be back with like the birth story and all those sorts of things and I'll just be carrying on going and sharing what it's like to be a creative person designing, working from home, wanting to support you in growing your business, but also showing what life is like working from home with kids. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for your support and for watching and I will speak to you really soon.